Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about a small tip with respect to UA Stack Views. UA Stack View is a really cool control. I use it quite often. Let's say if you want to arrange a lot of things in a particular way, like horizontally or vertically, you can easily do that with respect to a Stack View. Uh, without manually managing any constraints and those kind of things so it's really cool and on top of that if you want to hide or show a particular control inside a stack view it's really easy just use the hidden property of elements inside the stack view and the good thing is that stack view animates that changes also so it's uh, really uh, cool when it comes to stack view you have a something called distribution uh, so basically you can uh, tell stack view how to arrange uh, your elements inside inside it uh, you have things like fill equally fill fill proportionally so uh, fill equally means it will give equal space to the elements fill proportionally will take into consideration the interesting content size so by which it automatically arranges the uh, the contents inside the stack view and now let's say what if we want a custom proportion that's what we are going to discuss here okay let's uh, look at this code right now here i have a horizontal stack view where in which i try to put three ui views red green and blue colors so if you see the stack view uh, it's like normal stack view and I give the axis as horizontal then distribution as fill proportionally and translate auto recessing master constraint as false so with the intrinsic content size the system arranged it uh, equal spacing so let's say now we want the red to occupy 50 percentage green to occupy 30 and blue to occupy 20 percentage how do we do that so first thing we have to set constraint between the stack view and the contents inside it so let's see how it is being done so here we create the stack here we create the ui views this is just a convenience uh, function I'm just creating a ui view and assigning background color and setting the translate auto recessing mask to false and we add the stack view to the view then all the colored views inside the stack view then set uh, constraints for the stack left right top and a height and this is the code which does the trick yeah what you need to do is set a constraint between the views uh, with anchor and the stack views with anchor so you are telling like views with anchor is going to be 50 50 percentage of the stack views with anchor Similarly, uh, the green view 30 percentage and the blue view 20 percentage so that you totally get 100 percentage. So now let's let's run the code and see how it behaves. So now you can see you got that arrangement like this is like 50 and 30 plus 20. So that's that's it. It's so simple how to achieve this similarly in the case of vertical let's try a vertical stack view so you can see now the stack view is arranged equally so here also instead of width anger you just apply the constraints uh, to the height angle let's see how it looks so you can see you have red 50 percentage green 30 and blue 20 percentage so it's pretty cool to do that now one uh, problem with this thing is like if you want uh, right now you can see that the stack view doesn't have any spacing so if we add custom spacing you probably would get a constraint warning like because you cannot achieve that spacing also with uh, the percentage because you have close percentages added and spacing also won't be possible so one way to work around would be to add some borders uh, to the content 
so let's uh, try that so now you can see it it adds bit of a border like sometimes this this is like handy to do it's a workaround though but uh, it helps let's see how it looks in the case of horizontal yeah you can see how it how it works so yeah and you can achieve some really cool uh, layouts using this so let's let's try this so i'm just trying to in in our horizontal setup i just change the stack view axis to vertical and let's see how it looks so you can see you get like nice layouts here i will put the link to the code in the description thanks for watching do try this out thank you bye bye